live again. Classic pack breaks. Oh yeah. Thursday nighter. We have got a good one tonight. We got uh, we got six spots left in the old giveaway. Let's go ahead and run through those real quick. We'll get everybody in here. First spot. PSA 4, 1968, Mickey Mantle. Shouldn't be a 4. Um, second. One of these beautiful 1980 Super Cello packs with gum. And we have got one of these to open tonight. Mr. Chris T. Here's his right here, actually. Boom. Yeah. Third. Third time's the charm is going to be a 1985 Garbage Pail Kid. Even Steven. PSA 9. That's cool. Alright, so we are... Uh, we're, tonight we're going to be breaking some 80, uh, 88 Donruss again. We're looking for that Conseco again. I believe so. Uh, I thought Michael did. Oh, he, took, he got some and took some packs home. Oh, okay. Alright. Well, then it's just going to be our 80 solo right now. 80 baseball super solo. The, the super solo. We've got uh, 72 basketball right there. Love that. So we've also got some more information on our uh, 88 Fleer box, as a matter of fact, that we're going to share with everybody tonight on the. Uh, <coughs> let's. let's with us tonight we got uh, we got bonus wheel spins don't we forgot about that for crew yep we do have that six spots left in the main website giveaway guys it's every hundred dollar purchase gets you a spot and that also gets you a bonus wheel spin bonus everybody likes bonus wheel all right so first off i think maybe we need to go ahead and talk about the uh the 88 Fleer the mysterious 88 Fleer basketball box the infamous we've got some information back today and we're going to uh kind of share everything for everybody that doesn't know what happened what's going on what we're talking about here uh we bought a box of 1988 Fleer basketball from the BBCE baseball card exchange we brought it over here and uh, we unpackaged every single one of them, all 36 of them. Didn't get a single Michael Jordan. Didn't get a single uh, Dennis Rodman. Pippen. Single Pippen. Didn't get a, got one. Uh, Miller. One Reggie Miller rookie. We got one Reggie Miller rookie out of the box. So we thought, huh, that's a little unlucky. Uh, but come to find out that 88 Fleer is printed in sequences to where... Certain cards should be in order in the packs. Ryan nor I didn't know anything about that. So we opened the whole box before we even knew the box was gone and we didn't know. And then we started talking about it the other night and somebody brought it up that that uh, something was wrong with that box. There should have been a lot of cards in there that weren't in there and they were out of place. And we're not talking about... Um, you know, somebody looking at the packs and finding whatever card, say, is on the back of the pack, knowing what that one is and taking it out of the box. We're talking about inside of the pack, there was cards that should have been there in sequence, and there was another card that was put in, the, in its place. So somebody had opened up the packs. Trav man, what's up, buddy? Welcome to the party. I'm just explaining our uh, explaining what's going on to everybody. Um, so, anyways, somebody had opened up those packs in that sealed BBC wrapped box that we had purchased. So, fast forward a day or two, you know, once we discussed it here on live and had people chatting and talking about it, um, it was time to send an email. Uh, to them and so Ryan I'm gonna let Ryan you know we're just kind of giving everybody the rundown of what's going on here um, so Ryan Ryan sent an email to them 
What's up, Ryan? How you doing, buddy? Watching every crappy Wi-Fi in a hotel in Tulsa. Has to have been added. Added, what does that mean? I'm not sure. Anyways, we'll get back to that. So here, so here we go. I was counting cards and each pack had 15 cards. Well, Ryan, that's just the beginning of, of that 88 FLIR box. So anyways, we, uh, we, we emailed Steve Hart from uh, the Baseball Card Exchange. And here's here's what he here's just, what the hero here's what how it went. Just in the this is just for you guys full disclosure because I mean we want to have as good a reputation as we can you know so I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys see it but this is my initial email to him on su last Sunday this past Sunday said I'm not sure if there's anything that can be done about this but at least I wanted to bring it to your attention the five hundred dollar. 82 hockey box is ruined due to water damage. There's even a rust spot on the bottom of the box Where it sat in metal that rusted the cards in the packs are stuck together at least halfway through the pack. I Saw the recent break you guys did of 88 Fleer that yielded six Pippins five Jordans four stickers We opened our whole box and got zero 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 So I let that go for a while and it got to I think maybe Wednesday and then I said you know I tried to wait for a response and it looks like the box had been compromised at first I thought it was just unlucky but then after watching you guys' break and reviewing some print run videos I believe we received a box that was not authentic and I feel quite certain specific cards were substituted I can provide the videos if necessary. I understand that mistakes can be made, but we feel BBCE is responsible for this. No, you're good, Ryan. But we have multiple customers that are questioning it and not necessarily happy. So, let's see. This might take me a second to get back to his initial ones here. Okay, here we go. This is from Steve Hart. This is the first email I received about this. I would not have ignored it. What was wrong? Did you not get any of the rookies? 88 Fleer is very easy to identify, so I'm curious to see what happened. And I told him, yeah, we had the rappers. This is from him again. He wanted the rappers and wanted to see the videos. Believe me, I have no idea what happened. I'll make it good. I'm worried that the woman that wraps our boxes wrapped the one that I deemed bad. Either way, I'll make it good. So I said, I, I'll give you the rappers. Let's see. The cards have been shipped. He wanted the cards too. I said they already been shipped out. However, we have the wrappers and I'll send them to you. And then I sent him a link to the videos. So I guess he watched the videos. And I sent him the seal from the box as well. And he said that the boxes wrapped that day were good. So he had no idea what happened. But, long story short, he's going to send us another box of 88 Fleer basketball. So, <clears throat> that's where we had to decide how we got to how we got to do it because the criminal that did this took the PSA 10 stickers out of the out of the packs because we saw every single one of them that was a gem mint perfect sticker, so whoever did it you know, obviously it was a professional that knew what they were doing to do this, to, to trick him and trick a couple of guys in Georgia that don't know shit, basically. But short of the long is, is that every single person that's in that break that paid for a pack, when we get in our box from this guy, we're going to break it wide open and we're going to give every single person that bought a pack, we're giving them new packs and we're going to try it all over again.
We're going to rip the whole box in one night. Everybody gets what they bought back into the box. And we, and, but the only catch is that you got to buy something so that we uh, don't have to pay for the shipping because we don't think that we need to be, have to pay for shipping again on something that we're not liable for anyways. But we want to be the most solid two guys in the history of baseball, basketball card breaks. And I think that that's the right thing to do. So that's what we're going to do. We got uh, Chris B, Chris T, uh, Michael, Kevin's got Kevin, some. Corey, Jeff K, um, and uh, Robert. And Robert up in, in uh, Indiana. <sighs> Well, uh, we got we got some rough numbers. A few of you guys have like so anywhere from like seven to maybe nine packs. I think that's about four of y'all. And then uh, oh yeah, y'all get to keep the Jim Mint ten stickers you got too for all this bullshit we're having to go through. Excuse my language. So <laughs> yeah, Kev. So we appreciate it, guys. We appreciate y'all. I mean, without you guys, we're nothing. So it doesn't. Uh, you know, we're going to give back and we're going to have some fun ripping that whole box one night. That'll Hopefully be... we see an MJ, a couple of them, three or four of them, just like we planned on last time. So and, it's a little uh, bit more uh, more exciting this time. Hopefully Steve went through it a little better and is going to make sure this time. And I... we're, not, we're not doing this to try, and, to try and put them on blast, but we feel like that, that the right thing to do is to talk about it. And let everybody know that we certainly weren't behind something like that. And it's just, you know, we had to talk about it and figure out what the right thing to do was. Mm -hmm. and, and we want to we want to be reputable, you know. I mean, that's it doesn't make any sense to We're try. We're the two luckiest guys in the business or the two unluckiest guys in the business. I'm not real sure. <laughs> We haven't heard anything about the hockey yet, but I hope we so. Mailed, he, he asked us to mail him the wrappers, so we mailed him the wrappers and that box of hockey and said, we would like for you to evaluate this too. I, I, sent, I spent $38 overnighting the box of hockey and 88 FLIR wrappers, but he supposedly was going to get the box of 88 FLIR out today. So we could have that for possibly maybe for saturday that'd be great yeah well of course not no we're not giving away any wheel spins or any of that stuff we're just trying to make it right because everybody got their wheel spins and their free packs and all that well, yeah they, they are it. they already got all that i think everybody's probably going to be pretty cool with some uh free packs in 1988 flare basketball fresh out of a wrap box from steve Hart. i mean there's not much more we can do we just don't want to look like you know, like we're, you know, the bad guys here, obviously. I mean, that's the worst case. I don't think anybody out there thinks, you know, we've been pretty, pretty forthright with everything, you know, and we just wanted to kind of keep everybody in the loop like we have been. And we, we were informed a lot by the discussion the other night. So, um, you know, yeah, Ryan, we've, we've definitely gone over the, my shipping lady thing ryan and i have but you know the short of the long is is just gotta we gotta just do the right thing and and we don't want you know the five or six guys that bought that pack are more important to us than you know trying to keep packs or whatever we'd rather have y'all come back and buy cards from us than feel like we got one over on you on trying to on some kind of you know something that we had no control over it's crazy but you know, we talk. It's not, we're not trying to put them on blast. I mean, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's yeah. you know, things happen sometimes. There, he's probably got a lot of boxes to look at. There could be a lot of people around there. I don't know anything, but you know, we're just telling you how it is, and that's that's. We we talked about it a lot, Ryan and I have ever since. You know, because the, you know, I had no idea there was even a print run, and then somebody else said something, and that was it. Yeah, Ryan, we appreciate you, my man. We still got that uh, that 1960 card for you. I'll get it out here for you in the next day or two. Um, Chris, 
Chris T, you out there, my man? You're up. Chris T's on that list. He's getting a pack of 88 flare. He bought one. He's in. Yeah. Cool. I feel better now that I've told all y'all. And even if nobody's watching, y'all can watch it back and we can feel better about the whole box. Because that box, we wanted it to be good. And it wasn't. It wasn't. I guess Kev got one uh, Reggie Miller rookie though, but the yeah. stickers were so amazing, you know. So that was the good. That thing, was the so. good thing. Every <clears throat> everybody that everybody that got all those, you know, you guys are getting. You, there might have been a ten came out of there. That's what happened. Whoever whoever did it knew that it was a great box because he took the good cards out of it, and straight up, those, those stickers were mint. Yeah, they were. Uh, we're looking for Chris T. Chris T, you out there? Uh, we'll get started in just a second. We'll, we got that local recording ready this time. Oh, yeah. Boy. All right, Chris T's got a bonus wheel spin, and he got another spot in the giveaway. We're down to six, guys. Six more $100 purchases. <laughs> that means six more spots in the giveaway and six bonus wheel spins. All right, well, I guess we're going to get started. All right, here we go. All right, guys, ClassicPackBreaks.com. We're doing a bonus wheel spin for Chris T. up in Ohio. We appreciate you, Chris. Good luck, my man. Bonus time at CPB. Here we go. All right. How about something big? 84 Russ. Old Don. Back to the Don. Back to the Don well. Alright. Make sure you fix that. I think you whacked the camera on the way by. Yeah, I'm sure. Alright. 84 Russ. If I could find it. It is up top. Yep. Here's Jessica calling me and she... <laughs> At the hospital, with uh, okay. you take care of that. I'll be right back. We're good. Come on. Hey. hey, what's going on, Robert? You've been hanging out. Did you get? Did you catch that on the discussion about the '88 Fleer? All right, here we go. '84 Donruss <coughs> bonus wheel pack for Chris T. How's everybody doing? We got 80 baseball super cello coming up after this, guys. Joe Nolan. Here you go. Steve Lubertic. Oh, Man, look at that Bob Welch. Yeah, well, I can't, I don't think we can take credit for it. I think uh, quality control was in here on top of it. Corey was in here on top of it. Um, you know, and then that kind of got everybody's wheels turning a little bit. Bob Welch looks good. But for sure, I mean... With a set that small and, but the thing that they caught, uh, you know, the quality control and Corey caught, I think for, you know, was that the collation should have, uh, here you go. Ooh, nice. That's a good looking centered up Reggie. Was that the collation was such... <clears throat> That it should have yielded Jordans and and Pippins, um, and, and there were, they weren't there. There was a different card in there. Nice centered up Reggie. 
So that was, you know, that was a great catch on, on their part as well, for sure. And I don't think, uh, I don't think Steve Hart had any issue with it, you know. He, he must have saw everything he needed to see. Man, that guy just got down. Dave Beard, and he, um, you know, he made it right with the 88 Fleer. <coughs> Be cool if you got it and it's, it was from a sealed case. But either way, I would imagine he makes sure we get 36 good packs. Yeah, they do. That, uh, it, it's been kind of random with this whole box. But the Don Mattingly we pulled out of here did look did look good. That Reggie Jackson looks real nice. Here you go. Here's another one that looks good. Don Baylor. Nice. All right, Chris. <clears throat> nice centered up Don Baylor. Real nice Reggie. That's sweet. And then a uh, good looking Bob Welsh as well. Nice and centered. There we go. That was the 84 Donruss bonus wheel for Chris T. All right, guys. We are almost ready for the 80 baseball super solo. Dude. No, we haven't got anything from there yet, Nate. Um, yes, there's some a Reggie Jackson that was centered up like crazy. Bombo, here it is. Bombo, Bombo, Bombo on top. What are, what are we chatting about? Uh, the 84 Donruss was, was good. Man. y'all see how nice these cards are and these seller packs this is one of the giveaways is one of these packs. this is a great pack yeah second place in the website giveaway is gonna pull down a one of these 1980 tops baseball what did you say you get your stuff from there where i think you might be talking about baseball card exchange yeah, oh, in general, I mean, <clears throat> no, not necessarily everything. We get some stuff in there, if that's what you're talking about. We got a box of 82 of PG and a box of, of uh, 88 Flare. It didn't work out so well, but uh, that gum is... Here we right. go. It's like soft still. All right, 1980... Tops Baseball, Chris T. Here we go. The mintness is real. Can we find the centering is going to be the question. Good luck, Chris. Appreciate it, man. Look at that. Kevin Bell. 
<laughs> Chris Spear. Nice and sharp. 1980 baseball. Looking for that Ricky. That'd be cool. This, this would be a good time to see him. Joe Strain. There's a couple no tens in here still. Larry Harlow. Is there Rick Russell? Russell. Hmm. Two. Joe Strain. They're really sharp. Yeah, these are nice cards. There we go. Mmm. So mint. They're pristine. Dell Alston. Dell. Alright. I hope so too, Kev. I hope that we break that. that we should. I mean, it seems right. Mm -hmm. We're getting there now. Look at these. Look at the centering. Wow. Nice. Dan Dreesen. Well, good. Robert's in on <coughs> that too. That's cool. Well, Kev and Robert are from some of the guys that are in. Between the two of y'all. Yeah, y'all got y'all got a part of good part of it. Look at that one. That's nice. Great center. What card number? Three and a quarter. Well, he's close to McCovey though. Here we go, Chris. <coughs> Bill Robinson. Look at that camera working. It's like uh, you don't get this close <coughs> and personal on any other side. I'll tell you that. Every one of them wants to let you see what they look like, but not over here, boys and girls. We'll show you. Look at it. It's like every one of these. There's. It's not possible for them to be lower than an eight. Man, that's getting good. Mint as can be. Nice cards. That's the last one of those too, huh? We had those for a while, and then we had we got one on the boat on the giveaway now. Look at that, Gene Garber, like a razor. All right, John Mayberry. There we go. Centering is on point on these. We just got to get the top to bottom a little bit. You know that first box, how centered it was. It was a lot, lot of cards in this pack, too. This is super solo. So this is like, what is this, like two and a half packs <coughs> or two packs? No, it's almost two packs. All right, here we go. How about Daryl Evans? That's a good looking card, man. Those are great. What do you got on him? 145. Oh, nope. Sandwiched in between the Goose and Eddie Murray. Couldn't make the list, though. Sharp. They're 11. Next up, Jim Anderson. I don't, it, it, every one of these cards is a guaranteed eight, possibly nine, I get depending on centering. I mean, the corners could be manual sharper. Nice cards. Nice cards. Bob Montgomery, Bow Socks. Does he sound familiar? No Bob Montgomery. <clears throat> Bobby. There we go. Jerry Kuzman. Razored up. We were talking about center in there. I mean, razored. 
Can we pull a Rickster out of here, guys? We can pull a Hoffer. I know that. We got a Hall of Famer. He's on the list, too. Be centered. Be in the 280. Gaylord Perry. Oh, he's not on the list. Wow. How's it look? Looks good. I'm not sure if that's anything there or what, but. There's Gaylord Perry. How many cards in the set? There's like 700. Seven, uh, 726. 726. Gaylord Perry. Bud Harrelson. It sure do look nice, man. Next up is a guy we're after an 81 baseball. Is he a no tenner? <laughs> yeah. Bud Harrelson. Of 81 baseball fame, Mickey Klutz. More centered, but it's got some schmutz on there. Clutz couldn't have made it two years in a row, could he? No. Don Gullet made it, though. Card number 435. Hmm. Mickey Clutz. All right, Chris, here we go. Roy Thomas. Man, a great card. Super Razor. Let's get a Nolan or something. Man, that'd be nice. Did we get Dwight Evans or anything? I think it's not. No. Uh, Daryl. Daryl. I think. Oh, we're getting one out of here, guys. Don't, don't worry. Feeling good about this one. Roger Freed. A nice color there. But this centering is there in this pack, man. It's just a tiny bit off. Yeah, I mean, it's just bouncing around left to right and... Uh, the top to bottom isn't isn't there quite, but that is not a bad looking start to a pile. <clears throat> All right, what do we got here? Tom Hume, Reds, Tom Hume. Larry Harlow, remember that name, and Rick Russell. Tom Hume. Jeff Leonard. Man, that one's close. Look at the top and bottom there. Yeah, that one's close. That's a nice one there. Jeff. Man, we get a good player. It looks like that. Bring it on. That might be the best looking one so far. Top to bottom. Right? Yeah, it's pretty good. Jeff Leonard. Your excitement is overwhelming. Here we go. Roy Smalley. All-star shortstop for the Twins. 80 Tops Baseball. Roy Smalley. Next up. Another A. Larry Murray. Larry Murray. Another A outfielder. Let me check the chat there. An A outfielder, no less. Make sure that's working. Somebody out there say something. See if it's working. Andy wants a chat check. I need to pull it, but I got y'all. Mm. Doug Rao. He's there. Ah, uh, here we go. Appreciate it, Nate. Yeah. Good. Our chat did not time out. Doug Rao. Nice cards, though. <clears throat> Here we go. 
If you left, Chris, good luck, my buddy. Bottom of the pack mojo. There we go. We got one. Look at that dude. I opened 10 packs. You got 10, Robert? Yeah, I was thinking we we'll go over it again for sure, but I, I think I had you up to nine or something. Gene Richards. I'm sure he probably knows. But yeah, here we go. You're getting them all back, Robert. Wow. Oh, He's got some fish eye up there. Wow. That's an $800 10. $10 nine. Dave Winfield, nice. Paul Ferrini. Looks like he's got first one that had a little bit of print. Or a second one maybe. We'll check it out, Robert. We got you. It's gonna be a fun break. We're gonna hook everybody up and everybody's getting new packs, man. We 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 certainly didn't want that to happen, but you know, <coughs> we're trying to make it make it as right as we can. But you have to buy some so we can ship them to you. <laughs> <laughs> Ron Pruitt. I don't see Ron Pruitt on there. Nope. No Ron Pruitt. He's just a young buck. That one's good. Lynn McLaughlin. That's a nice looking card. All right, what's up? Who's next? What we got coming up next, guys? I think that's it for now. Lynn hey guys, classic pack breaks. Y'all hop on there. Let's open some pack. Let's rip some wax. You guys missed it last night. Uh, we had a Don Baylor to get him. Might be on there. Last <coughs> night we had a uh, giveaway. Tell them about the giveaway. Uh, last night's giveaway yielded a one of one super fractor. What's that new? This new stuff. Yeah, we're gonna try and get some more, Robert, for sure. Absolutely. Mickey Lolich. They're awesome, aren't they? They're, I mean, they're, they're amazing. I think that's I'm, why it's such a great giveaway. Yeah, that giveaway will be fun too. I mean, that's a terrific giveaway. Let's close that giveaway out and give away a mantle and super cello. We made it to the top of the pack, Chris. Bombo Rivera for the twenties. So we had a little bit of a print defect on the windfield. Yeah, I need a fresh sleeve, I think. Let me get one, won't we? So, the cards are super duper sharp. With tiny centering here and there. One of one and got the auto, yep. Yeah. The Winfield's got a few, got some fish eye going on up there in the banner. Otherwise, nice and sharp. The cards are really nice. We got Gaylord Perry in there somewhere as well, too. Oh, yeah, I yeah, yeah. Dare Elevens. There's Gaylord. Gaylord's nice and sharp. That's good. That, that, that whole pack looks great. Yeah, it did. All right, Chris. Nice. A couple hoffers. That Winfield is one of my favorites. I like that one. It, that's that weird looking one. Looks like he's got mascara on or something like that. Kind of like eye, eye makeup or some sort. <laughs> it's weird how some of them have those. You know, that George Brett from 85 has it too. And oh, actually, yeah. if you look close on that Gaylord Perry, if you look at his eyes... Where's that Gaylord Perry? Look at his eyes. It's like, that's the googly-eyed card. See it? See his eye? 
See? Yeah. <laughs> There's like a couple of them that are like that. They're like weird, <laughs> weird print defects, but I don't know if that counts against it. Look at the, go to the, go to the, go to the, the <laughs> Winfield. Look, it looks like he's got mascara on. Like, hold a little bit far away. Like, oh, oh wow, I do. I see that too. Yeah. Uh huh. Cute, Dave. He got his mascara on, <laughs> and Gaylord, Gaylord Perry looks some kind, some kind of demon. Yeah, see, it's like his, like he's throwing it so hard, his eyeballs like they're like crossed. Yeah. Uh, there you go, Chris. Nineteen eighty Topps baseball super cello pack. Nice one. Nice one. Let's take a look at the. Uh, I don't think Andy saw it anyway. The uh, where's your uh, <clears throat> here? Check out the '84 Russ Reggie Jackson. Oh yeah, that's nice too. Damn, that centering is nice. Too. Look at that one. Nice. Bonus wheel strikes again. Beautiful. Oh, you got to end your logo recording. Yeah, I did. All right, guys, I'm going to let Andy talk with you for a second. I'm going to go give the boys a call if it's not already too late. I don't have anything to say to y'all. <laughs> but we appreciate it, Chris. We're ready to rip, guys. Let's, get it. let's, let's, let's wheel and deal. All right. Watch this. Um, how about I give something away? <laughs> If you're in the chat and you can say hi or put a, a number or a emoji, we'll put you in the giveaway and I'll give something away. Let's see here. Let me get my random pulled up. <clears throat> All right, what do we want to open? I'm still a big fan of the Conseco ones, but let's see. We'll see how many we got in there. You'd like that giveaway. All right, Robertson. Boom. There he is. Easy as, yeah, there he is, Chris B. Oh. Alright, we got there we go, we got we got three in there now. Anybody out of cab you out there still? What, what do we want what do we want to open? What would be cool? Hmm. These are both cool. Ted and Carey, welcome to the party. Welcome, welcome. Glad everybody's tuned in tonight. All right, we're going to call that too. But this is your last warning to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Carey gets the pass, but Ted does not. He needs to create his Gmail account or something. He better get something cracking. <laughs> oh, he says, I am. All right. We got an answer out of him. Ooh. So I'm not sure if everybody was tuned in last night. We did one. Uh, Ryan got Ryan picked it. And it was a, uh, it was a, uh, so much new stuff. This right here. Right, 2018 Bowman Chromes. What? That was our quick giveaway. Let me show you this card. Uh, he may have mailed it already, I guess. Oh, darn. It was a good one. It was a one of one. Uh, Audible Herrera, which is kind of a cool card. There's not very many of those. Uh, Super Fractor, so that's what makes those so special. 
All right, guys. So what do we got? We got Robert, Easy Ed, Chris B, Carrie, Ted. Anybody else out there want some of this? We got. We're giving away free stuff right now. Ryan wanted to go call his boys, so here I am. Oh, you know what it is? I got an even better one. I know what I'm gonna do. These two are cool. They will do that with one of those and one of these. Yeah, buddy. There he is. See? Kev was the lucky winner last night. Oh, all right. Right on Nate's in there. We didn't get Nate in there? Nate's out here buying stuff. We might as well get him in there. What'd you get, Nate? 87. Okay, right on. 87 dollars grocery rack. Cool. All right, so let's do a giveaway here real quick. Um, all right, y'all pick. We'll let y'all pick between the two. What y'all want? What y'all want? What y'all want? How about 82 Donruss Golf Pack? This is the one with Fred Couples, and it's got, got the Golden Bears. It's got them all. Or option B, how about some 92 Bowman? We go for, uh, for your unanimous vote getter. How about that, huh? Type it in your little chat down there. Let me know what y'all vote for. It's your choice. Mariano Rivera's in that uh, 92 Bowman, though, so that's kind of a cool one. And uh, that that one's probably on the uptick, actually. Let's look at that. All right. Y'all made the decision. Top two. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, he's back. What are they not there? I just texted. They might already be getting the bed and stuff. All right, here we go. I missed the call. Giveaway? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I've gone off the deep end now. All right, guys, here we go. Top two are getting a pack. Six times. Coming out? Six times. One. Oh shit. Uh, let me pull it up for y'all. I'm sorry. I hit it one time already. Is it that one? No, it's uh, that. Autumn one? Mm hmm. Alright, here we go, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ted and Easy Ed. Alright, so Ted, we'll go. We'll let him. Uh, let's see here. Let's let him pick. That's probably the right thing to do. Congratulations to Ted and the Easy Ed coming, Georgia. Ted and Ed. Ted and Ed. It rhymes. And then we're going to do, uh, we're going to do Nate. Oh, they got puzzle pieces on the back. You can't see. Let me see that. Let me see that. All right. Teddy wants baseball, so Easy Ed's going for, here's Nate coming up, do some 87 Donruss, looking for some Bo Jackson action, what else is in there? Look at Ted sliding in again. That'll boy. That'll work. Baseball does, all right, we'll let, we'll save Ted for a second. We'll go Easy Ed first. This is one of my faves here, guys. I like these. Centering is tough on these, but these are cool. Seems like we had some good centered ones out of that very first 81 box, didn't we? Um, no, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if we've ever really seen like a whole run of really good ones. Like Jack's a $45 nine. Hubert Green. Some good nines out of here. Hubie. Hubie. It's a good looking card with his green shirt, but a little OC. Here we go again with Dan Pohl. Seems like he's everywhere. Terry Pohl. <laughs> yeah, that's Terry's brother. 
Damn. Another green shirt, green border. Everybody wear green. All right, here we go. Great powers. That one's a little bit getting dialed in there. That's a good looking picture too. There next to the leg. That's real. That's real stuff. That's cool. You can like see the people behind him. In action. Yeah. That's great powers in action. We'll call that a flop shot. Great powers. Statistical leader. Damn pole. What do you know? Statistical leader. Uh oh. Easy Ed. It's the lucky guy. Jerry Pate. You might like this next one, Easy. Oh, man. This is how that bonus wheel of classic pack breaks works, guys. And this isn't even the bonus wheel. This is just. For just hanging out. Look at here, Bubba. Good centering. Oh, man, dude. Yowzas. Oh. Yes, sir. E Bobby. Oh, man. <laughs> What'd you say it was? God. This is a big 10, huh? Jackie boy. It says a, a 9 says 45 and a 10 says 250. All right, Ed. Right on, buddy. Right place, right time for Jackie Boy in that stack. I think you might have a nine and a prayer. That'll play. Cool. Cool. Oh, look, and it's right before the gum card. Nice. Bang. There you go, Ed. Nice. Full effect. These are in great shape. These packs. These, these pack. J.C. Sneed. These cards are nice. Jack. Jackie boy shows up to the party. Mm. Any uh, any of y'all PSA graders out there? What do you got? Eight, nine. Oh, it's six. Bad. What's the back look like? Mm. Might have something here, guys. That's nine territory. That's a grader. That's a for sure a grader. That one might have to go up on the shelf with Joe Montana. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Ed. That'll work. Cool. All right. Just for hanging out, guys. Nice pick, Ted. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There you go, Ed. Right on, buddy. J.C. Sneed. Great card. Beckett nine and a half says Chris. Oh, nice. He he, he, he works for them. <laughs> nice. I like that card. That jack's great. All right, here we go. These are those thermofoils, so these are gonna get a little bit, a little bit sticky. Just kind of loosen them up a little bit. All right, Ted and Kerry over in Buford were the lucky winners. Looking for the Mariana. Looking for the Mr. Unanimous Decision. The first ever Unanimous Decision. Vote getter to the Hall of Fame. Yeah, there you go, bud. Yeah, man. That's awesome, man. That's what we want. And we've had two giveaways in a row. I mean, two good not, two good ones in a row. Tom Candiotti. I mean, it's Mint tea. It's super duper crispy. I think it's a nine. Chuck Knobloch. Those are tough to get nine. I mean, like, you know, uh, just like I was saying, like, the, the 81s and that 82 were were tough. Greg Vaughn. I believe that's got a nine. Here's your chicken man. He's on base for sure. Wade Boggs. Oh, there's another card there. Mark Lewis and Bob Malacky. Bob Malacky and Mark Lewis. Not what we're looking for just yet. 
Here's your gold card. Jack McDowell. So, I really wonder if you can get a Rivera like that. Yeah, you said that last time. That would be, seems like it would be a good thing. That'd be a good giveaway. Alright, Brian William. Here's one of my, here's one of my church outfits coming up, guys. This one's a little dressed down, but this is what really makes these sets cool. This, this set's cool. Oh, he's got his ring on. He's got his belt and everything. Okay. Kevin Seitzer. Played for the Royals for a while, I think. Just a little knowledge. Omar Vizquel. 92 Bowman. Doing a uh, quick little giveaway for everybody that was in the chat. Before we rip some 87 Donruss. A rack pack. A rack pack. So we got some, some cards to look at there. Cliff Brantley. Say, so we'll teach Ryan to leave me alone in the WCPB studios. I'll start giving away jacks. <laughs> Steve Carsey. This is right when these, like, you know, the thing about these cards is like, this was like right when they first started making these, like, thermofoil cards. These guys will really stick together. And a lot of them, like, over the years, now when they've been in the packs, they're, they're, they're sticking together. So people, when people open them, they're, they're ruined. So you got to be real careful with these, these, uh, thermofoil cards. Any of the ones from the 90s, 93s, you know, whenever. Yankee Finn, nice Omar, awesome video. Thanks, buddy. We appreciate you tuning in again. We're, uh, we're about to do some 87 rack pack for our buddy Nate over in Texas. Where did, where did this trip go? What's up? Oh, I don't know, man. I haven't, I haven't got up very far. Bowman's Ted, right? Yeah. Yeah, let me see that jack one more time. Let's just show that off. This is Ed. Congrats, Ed. Nice card, man. That's a that's a doozy. I like that one. I'm a big <laughs> golfer and golf fan and he's the man. Plain and simple. So is this eighty one bigger than this one? Yeah, the eighty one's real big. What was the, what is that one in the ten? Two fifty. Yeah, the other ones I think is five hundred, and all of the tens in the eighty one are, are high because they because they're all so off centered, you know. Yeah. All right, here we go. We're going for Nate out in Texas. He's looking for some eighty seven Russ. He's looking for that Nolan. Jackson, or uh, yeah, pull, pull these up. All right, Nate, here we go, my man. Appreciate you tonight. Yes, sir. Billy Sample, a little dusty and crusty, but I golly, it's sharp. Dave Clark. Barry Larkin. Any of these cards have got a uh, a black border or, or tough. Sometimes Mike Morgan. Greg Maddox is the biggest ten. Greg Maddox, huh? Ken Gerhardt rookie. Bo's the biggest nine. Ken Daly. There's Bangston. Did he miss the giveaway? He was late. Oh, late have, to the party. He must have been in Mike. The, he was in Herbic. the gym. Yeah, he was in there banging plates and soaking up too much sauna time. Mike Stanley. <laughs> Jose De Leon. Is that a card center? 
Yeah. Oh, no, some of them are. Some of them back <laughs> off a little bit every once in a while. Bob Kearney. Bruce Bochy. We're hoping Nate's about to own them too. He's gonna, he's gonna be in here. Mike Marshall. That's one I'm we're looking for. Old Bo. I'm a Bo collector as well. I think I got just about all of them. Even got one where he's deer hunting or something. Got camouflage on. Steve Sachs. Johnny Ray. Look at that hat. That's like a combo in between the trucker hat and that old one. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Jeez. Look, he does it like the bill is crappy. Uh, Yikes. Yikes. Angel Salazar. And hell. And hell. And yeah, on hell, Salazar. <laughs> All right, Nate's first run at it. All right. Here's the uh, here's the his uh, puzzle piece in case he wants to make a Clemente throw together a Clemente puzzle. Mm hmm. Good luck. Jeff Heron. Doug Descensus. I'm having trouble, but that's a cool card. You got it. Winfield, Diamond King. Good looking card. I always like those. Come on, Nate. Let's get one here. Jeff Musselman. 87 Don Russ. I didn't do your uh, local recording or whatever. Oh, God. Bobby Gritch. Wow, I remember Kelly Gruber. Wow. Long time no see. Kelly Gruber. No local recording for you, Nate. Sorry, Nate. My bad. Ron Robinson. A local recording will, uh, we can separate each pack. Probably about an hour in, it looks like. Yeah, sorry, buddy. We're working on it. Dennis Rasmussen. We're working out the kinks over here at Classic Pack Breaks. We'll get it sooner or later. Ron Ronick. Of course, we can still, you can still watch the original video. Ronicky. Oh, yeah, shit. Sorry. I can't read. Here we go. A little blurry, huh? Mike Eastler. Billy Sample. Sure. Bravos. I remember that name. Dave Clark. Can't even see the bottom edge at all. I mean, I these here, you got. I gotta hold it like that. That's where you can see it. Here we go. Harold Reynolds. He got in trouble, but he must have not got too bad because he's uh, he's still working, I think. Did he? He got hit caught with his hand in the cookie jar or something? I think he got caught like harassing chicks. Uh oh. Keep it in your pants, Harold. Terry Steinbach, rookie. It's a good looking card. He was a good player. He was right there with uh, McGuire and Canseco. Bill Wegman. All right. Second rack down. Nate, we're still trying, Bo. I've always been one for the dramatics, so maybe I saved it here for this last rack pack. I'm trying. 
All right, Ed, we got you. 81 baseball. All right, my favorite. Favorite one. Here we go. Dan Abier. Little fish I have there at the top. He liked the ladies of the ESPN now on MLB Network. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> you got a little touchy loves. feely over at ESPN. Come on, Harold. Royce Molly. <laughs> keep it keep it together. <laughs> Jeff Stone. There's some nice ones over there. I mean, I can't blame them. They're, they've got some nice ones over there these days. Bruce Hurst. I mean, they're, that's, ooh. Ooh, <laughs> Nate. Be about hard not to chat them. Marvel. Here we go. Check Marvel this one out. Hood. Check it, check it out. Is that rocket? Nice. Cool. That's one of the Mantis one cut wise. Sharp cuts. Here we go, Nate. Got a boy? Got one. He hasn't made it yet, but He probably, probably will. Probably should have. He needed to lay off that juice. Roger Clemens. That was nice. Rocket. Cal Daniel. Checklist everybody loves. Chris Bingham's Oak. Are you Yankees fan? Hall of Famer. Tom Seaver on his 38th team. Leon Durham. Freddie Lynn, Baltimore Rose. I'm going to get this one wrong. Ed Wojna. 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 Ooh, there's another one of my faves from childhood. Kurt Ford coming, coming up next. Oh, it's the bottom card too. Nicely centered as well. Nice. That's a nice looking card right there. Let's see if I can put it up against that white background. Canseca. Nice. That's cool, Nate. Not bad, not bad. Canseco and a rocket. A couple other Hall of Famers. Unfortunately, no uh no bow, no uh no no Maddox. No, Maddox. no rock I mean no uh Nolan Ryan. You're yeah, that's his guy. Or a Texas guy. Alright, so we're up to uh where are we at? Oh e easy ed, huh? The lucky man tonight. He's the he's the hot winner so far. And keep it rolling, see if we can get that Mickey Clutz. Eighty <laughs> one's winding down again, isn't it? You got a, a preference here, Ed? You you got a certain spot you want me to go from? I think he usually does dealer's choice. But yeah. Corey, what's up, buddy? How you doing? You're one of the guys on the list. Yeah, let them know. Corey, we got to, we kind of gave everybody a rundown of what was going on with our 88 Fleer box. And uh, Short of the long is we've got we videoed it all at the beginning of this show. If you want, if you watch it back, you can see it. But uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna give you brand spanking new packs out of a brand new box from um, from uh, Steve Hart at the Baseball Card Exchange. He's sending a new box, and however many packs you got, you're getting new packs, my friend. And uh, you get to keep your ten, PSA 10s too. PSA 10 stickers, hopefully. But that, uh, that's kind of what's going on. But we kind of explained everything at the beginning of this, this show, how it went down. Um, showed the emails from Steve and all that. Just to kind of clear the air. Let, make sure everybody knows where, where, where we stand. But uh, 
We're gonna have a fun rip one night. We're gonna yeah, buy whole box and give it back to y'all. Whoever bought, however many packs you bought, that's what you're getting. Yeah, Corey. Yeah, man. You got. I, you're on that list about eight times, I think, something like that. So yeah, you're uh, you're on that list, my friend. We're gonna we're gonna hook everybody up. If you were in part of it, we're gonna do it right. Yeah, I mean, I mean, we, we were we were all. Uh, I, you know, me and Ryan didn't, we missed that. I had no idea there was, uh, there was print runs and any of that stuff. I mean, I, we were clueless. We went through the whole box and I was on the last pack going, where's Jordan? Where's Jordan? No, oh, well, I can't believe Jordan's not in there. <laughs> and then after further review, it's like somebody deliberately opened those packs and took those cards out of there. Yeah, we're going to do it in one swoop. Yeah, man. That's going to be a good night. Uh, we're not sure yet. I mean, he said it was in the mail today. Hoping for Saturday. Yeah, but... hoping for Saturday. You just have to check in every night or whatever or send us a quick message and we can, uh, you know, we'll keep everybody updated. But that's how that's going to go down. We're not, we're not trying to pull any fast one on that. I'll tell you that. Chris Spire. That's good luck, yeah. These are for Ed up in Cumming, Georgia. Yeah, that'll be fun. Steve Garvey. Card number 530. That one might be on there, but it's a little low to see. We'll sleeve those up in a minute. Al Bumbry. So, yeah, Corey, we're, uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm, you know, we're, everybody just keep them. And if y'all want to, uh, if y'all want to call Steve over at the, uh, Baseball card exchange and thank him for your PSA 10 stickers. <laughs> Go right ahead. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, I mean, it's a, it was an unfortunate, there's nothing that we can say or do other than just try and do the right thing and be up front, tell everybody what we know and, and, you know, try and save the, the customers and the, the, the fan base that we have, you know, we don't need to be messing around with some crazy boxes that, you know, that was the worst, absolute worst case scenario for us. You know, we don't want that. Everybody spent a bunch of money. Card number 140. For Jordans, you know. And, and he wasn't in there, and that's a raw deal for everybody. Yeah, I was thinking there's a few nines in there for sure. You know, it, the more that I thought about it, um, whoever did it, did it to that box because those stickers were so good. You know, I don't know if the cards were the, the common card. I mean, the, the, the star base cards, but, uh, but he pulled a good Jordan out of that box. I'll tell you that much. Whoever did it. All right, here we go. Jerry Kuzman. Easy Ed up here in, uh, up here in Georgia. He's our neighbor. <laughs> I worked over there today, Ed, and I was right in your neck of the woods. Lanier Beach Club on Lake Lanier not a very warm day in here in Georgia Jim Morrison 323 there he is little print defect though he's not on there that's 346 Ooh, wow he's right next to Harold Baines next card Andre Thornton. Yeah, that's what we were saying too, man. That Jordan sticker out of that box, the two or three would have been sick. Uh, it's a bad deal, for, you know. I told Ryan either we're the two luckiest guys on the planet or the two unluckiest guys on the planet. I'm not sure which it is because... You know, I don't know if that's a common thing. If that does that happen a lot? Six fifty nine. I mean, it doesn't seem like it should. Steve, it, Steve Hart said it hadn't happened in years. So, you know, we don't want. I, I wish we weren't even having to talk about that. That's, you know, Gary Allenson. That's not. That's not what we wanted to be talking about. Well, last but not least. John Pacella, 414. 
I didn't see one of our no namers in that in that little run for Ed. No. No. Ah. We gave it a go though. That's all right, easy Ed. You got a good one coming in the mail, anyways, my man, on that bonus giveaway. That uh, Jack Nicholas is beautiful. Let me say it one more time. Let me show Corey since he might have missed that. We did a little quick giveaway for the. Uh, Thank you, Ed. People that were in the chat. Ed got pulled him a Jackie boy. Minted out, too. 82. That is a really, really good looking card for that. That cut in that year. Unless people are opening the rebox. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no worry, man. Nicholas makes up for it. Yeah, Corey. I mean, you know, he made it right. And, and the only thing we can do is make it right and be honest and show you all the email you know because you know the more that i thought about it, it was like damn i have these people probably think that we did something like that and that's not that's not what we're here to do man we'd rather just open up cards and not have to you we know do. we just want to do the bullshit fun. that's in you know that's too much there and and for him to you know for him to want the packs back i don't know if he wants to examine them or i don't know you know what he what he's looking for out of the packs but you know either way he's making it right on his end with that box hopefully he does with the o2 uh, opg2 because that that opg box that, that hurt my feelings after i went back and looked at it like the very first pack i was like oh my gosh ryan this is this is making me sick to my stomach so uh we have uh <clears throat> we have six spots left in the mantle giveaway and the super cello yeah, Corey. I think we got. We're gonna. We're. We haven't got the box yet, so we're not sure if we're getting it to uh, this weekend or whenever. We'll. Whenever we get it, if we get it Saturday, we'll. We'll do it Saturday night or Sunday or whenever everybody wants to. You know, everybody can be there or whatever. However, it's best. Either way, we're. We're, we're thinking about recording it, so. <laughs> so you can watch it back. <laughs> Fortunately for us, you know. If it would have been anybody that, that didn't record it, you know what would have happened. That's that's the there's so many what ifs about how how it's not such a good thing. But either way, it's you know we're gonna make it right. And yeah, Corey, got if you got eight packs on the way. They're coming from Ohio to Atlanta, Georgia on the way. Indiana to Georgia to you know, to Ohio. Oh, uh, okay, right on. Here we go. Consider one of my packs rival. All right, well, then we'll keep it at here. We'll put it on the site because we'll, we're not getting anything out of it, you know. That, <laughs> that, that, we'll keep it, put it on the site. Somebody else can buy it. I'm he down wants, with that. He wants to raffle it out to the chat, though. Oh, right? yeah, not we can do that, us, too. Not for us to sell it. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm down with it. We'll raffle it. Yeah. Well, did you see the raffle last night? We had a one of one. Uh, out of the Bowman Chrome, we got a one of one. It's Ruble, uh, what's the name? Audible. Audible, Herrera, Phillies. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, he's like, uh, I had no idea what y'all were talking about. I'm thinking, okay, yeah, cool. We'll keep it. All right, so um, what else we got? Is that it for right now? We caught up? I think so. We caught up. All right. So... Short of the long is we've got a box of '88 flare coming, and we're gonna we're gonna rip through it like we're gonna just have a mound of packs right here, and we're gonna rip them all. I figured what we'd do is everybody that's in it, however many packs you got, we'll just enter that into the randomizer and and randomize it on whatever we roll up, um, and then just go from there instead of having everybody pick where they want to go from we'll just go from the top and go down one row or else go in a circle around the top you know whatever just something to just everybody's gonna get their cards this time i have a feeling um you know i wish that i didn't even have to say that which is crazy to even have to say yeah you guys are gonna get your cards this time but you know it is what it is and we got to be forthcoming on everything so that's how that is yeah. Let's see if we can beat the five pits. That's right. 
That's what I'm talking about. I'm thinking we're going to have a good box this time. Yeah, I mean, after those emails and stuff, I'm thinking that he might make sure this one is, uh, you know. A heater. A heater. No, I mean, you know, not a heater, but <laughs> at least be out of know. a sealed case or something that we know is nobody's messed around with. I, it's it's uh, such a weird situation and, and such a weird... There's a lot of people in this world that are collecting cards and buying boxes like that. And it certainly, it certainly makes you think, you know. Guys, we got a 1970 Topps Baseball Cello Packs going to be showing up in the next few days, maybe, too. That's Pete Rose rookie. No, Thurman, Thurman Runson rookie. Thurman Runson rookie. You got Pete Rose is in one of them. The sixth series. Yep. Uh, Hammer and Hank Aaron. Nope. Willie Mays. Possibly. <clears throat> Pete Rose and Willie Mays are in the six series pack we're getting. And then the second series pack we're getting could have uh, Harmon Killebrew, Reggie Jackson second year, and um, Thurman Munson rookie, which is huge. And these packs, these packs are going to be mint. I, I mean, I, I can... Uh, you know what? As a matter of fact, I don't even have to tell you that because they're coming slabbed and they're going to be PSA 9 mint. Yeah, we're getting one second series and one sixth series. And they're both slabbed PSA 9s. They're mint. So I'll tell you that much. That could be, that, that, that would be some fun. All right, where's our list? Where's Reggie? Uh, you just passed Reggie somewhere. What were the numbers that started at? Go down. 133 or something. There he is. 140 is Reggie. 950 and a 9. $1,000 9 for Reggie. Damn. They don't even have 10s registered. Damn. These are big cards. Rico Cardi. Harmon Killebrew, $250.9. Al Oliver. Phil Necro, Hall of Fame. Mm -hmm. Ralph Gar, rookie. Braves, rookies, that's cool. Sparky Anderson, Hall of Fame. Munson. Thurman Munson's rookie, guys. Thurman Munson's rookies in there. Joe Torrey. Yeah, Robert, we got it. They're on the way. They'll be here uh, a couple of days, hopefully. Yeah, PSA nine graded slabs. <clears throat> uh, Matt, the black, the break, the Alaska, uh, our buddy from Alaska is in is in the two thousand and three tops basketball. That's gonna be the LeBron James. You get you rookie. some of that, Matt. That's perfect. Three dollars a spot. Three dollars a spot, and with a ten percent off, you can get them for two seventy. You buy fifty dollars worth, you can use the fifteen percent code. But yeah, Robert, to answer your question, 70 packs on the way. Second series and sixth series. We were just kind of going over some of the names. Thurman Munson, the rookie's in there. There's a $1,300 nine. And what what is that in a 10, right? Go, I look, at some the, kind of go look at the auction numbers. Some kind it? of ridiculous numbers. Oh, yeah. I know sure. that's a big one. Like 20 or 30 grand. Yeah, that's a big one. All right, here we go, guys. At the bottom of the wow. All right, here we go. Uh, Killebrew. Jim Mint 10, number 600, Willie Mays, who's going to be in that sixth series, sold for $34,045 cool. in 2018. Damn it. That's a big one. Tom Seaver sold for nine, uh, wow, 8900 Look at Reggie Jackson in 2016. 43 grand. What about this one right here? We don't have the uh, Clemente's that. not in that oh. in our series, is he? Look okay. at Reggie. Wow, there Reggie's <clears throat> a ten. Reggie Jackson sold for forty three thousand and sixteen. Damn it! Here we go. Look at these two. Munson, Munson. thirty uh, two PSA gem mints. One for twenty nine six eighty six, and one for thirty five thirty two. Jiminy crickets. There's, a, um, there's your mint Ryan right there. Look at there. 
Card number 712, is he in the 6th series? Um, no, I don't think he's in either one. 26-9. Oh, they're huge. Um, Do we have a prize the, uh The second series is more expensive. Um, the 6th series is going to be probably in the neighborhood of maybe, you know... Nine hundred, nine fifty, thousand bucks, roughly. There's that Thurman Munson rookie. It's a two, two players on there. He's on there with Dave McDonald. And the uh, the second series cello will probably be twelve or thirteen. I mean, or yeah, like thirteen or fourteen. That one's got a, some bigger ones in it. With the that, and I Reggie, mean, with the, the Reggie, Reggie and the Thurman Munson, they're both in north of thirty thousand dollar tens, and I mean these are mint nine slab packs. That's a hellified scratch off lottery <laughs> ticket right there. <laughs> so we want to have some fun, guys. We got some super old stuff that could, there could just be massive, massive stuff. Yeah, there. Robert, we, we're not real big fans of the black ones either. Like just like what I was saying with that Donruss. Uh, a minute ago, the 71s have that black border, and those are tough. The uh, the 70s are the gray border. Yeah, and those babies are sexy gray. Those are those are awesome cards, man. All great cards. Next, we got to try and get some 69 in here. Yeah, yeah, we do. We got to get something that's got the mixture in it. That's what we need. Wow, that'd be that's tough there. Yeah, I know. Maybe we can get him on top of one of these cello packs. <laughs> You're going to purchase one of each? Oh, well, right on, man. That's cool. Oh, man. We're looking forward to that. Those are going to be a fan. Those are... And listen, I mean, you know, we, we got to put it out there, too, because if you if somebody buys something like that and you don't, you know, you certainly have the option to have it sent to you sealed, um, you know. If 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 you want to break it, I awesome too because we would certainly <laughs> love to see them. But if you don't want to break them, then that's absolutely understandable as well. <laughs> but they're incredible. That's all that we can really say about them. I mean, anything that's fifty years old that's that's a mint nine. My wife will kill me. <laughs> that's a boy, Robert. We'll break them live. I got my Dremel right here. It's ready. We're oh, going to bust them open. We're going to crack them. Mama Mia. <laughs> that's cool. All right, so uh, that's it. We got. That's all we got for now, right? Bankston, Take a break. Bankston, hop on in and fill up that 2003 Topps basketball break. Yeah, man, we got to get our buddy from Alaska. We got to get that. We got to get a pack of that broke for him. He said he's real patient, so he's probably a good. Probably a good hunter. I think there's about thirty. <laughs> I think there's about thirty something spots left. I'll let it slide. I'll let it slide for eighty. Ooh, if you anybody go. wants in, we'll break the group break. Two thousand three tops basketball. I think you're going to get thirty two spots for eighty. Okay, I'm with that. Thirty two out of the thirty five spots in a pack for eighty. All right, let me go. Uh... Make my quick call. It's nine thirty. Take a break for a minute. Call time. Yeah, you know. Sub time. Tag. Rip that 007. Hey man, we got a cool 007 pack here that's from the sixties or something. Seventies maybe? Maybe it's the seventies. I think it's the seventies. Speaking of it, look. Look at that. What you got? Is that it? <laughs> dun, 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 dun. No, that's Mr. Impossible. <laughs> He's, uh, what's his son? Oh, man, I don't, I'm not sure. Bond. I'm not sure what year it is. Let's see here. 83, maybe? Maybe 83. Not sure, though. But, yeah, we got, we got everything, man. We got old, we got old James Bond. These are like little bitty cards too. I can see them. They're like tiny. 
Might have a, what's his name? Odd job. One of those guys. All right, talk to him. Talk to the people. All right, guys. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Not bad. We're all rocking and rolling so far tonight. You Appreciate back. everybody tuned in. Yeah, I'm just going to call them real quick. Do my thing. I'll be right back. Don't be giving everything away like I did. Huh. All right, everybody. Here's the boxes. Two thousand Bowman football. We're looking for the Brady there. What did I say on those? We'll do those at sixty a pack, I think. Something like that. Oh, Robert, let me go. I'll let me go grab that. I'll go grab that real quick. Be right back, guys. How about that? True story. The mantle got a nine, guys. And that was out of a PSA 7 cello pack, I believe. Paul Guile. <clears throat> I believe it is, Robert. I it's on uh it's on the website. I think I think he probably I, I don't know if I can speak for him. It is on the website though, so I can speak to that. Um but I think it's in the neighborhood of like two hundred and fifty bucks. Yep, Andy was in it, man. If the luck, if the luck would have hit right, would have been really, really good. Um, I believe that one was spot thirteen, and Mantle was all the way at spot nineteen. It's Paul Guile, uh, Yankees fan. A Met. It's on our site. Under, uh, if you hit the menu tab up in the top right, I believe it should be there. I'll check for you, but under uh, maybe graded cards. Ernie Banks came out of that pack too, but it got graded like a five or a six, I think. <clears throat> uh, 
let's see, 55 Bowman, 125. It certainly doesn't list for that much on PSA, but <clears throat> it's got a little bit more cachet, I think, with the uh, 2000 National Break and the fact that it came from that Mantle Pack and things like that. It's got a little bit of a, a story with it, if you will. Pulled from the same pack that a uh, PSA 9 Mickey Mantle came out of. Yeah, this would have been, you know, I guess around the time in America where everybody was getting a television in their house, you know. Not only that, they were getting a nice little color television in their house. Pretty cool stuff. Hey, Bankston, too. If you look at the mantle... Um, from 55 Bowman, that's, he, he looks like your twin. Let me see if I can maybe find a little picture of it. All right, check this out. <clears throat> Wish I could get it to turn. But uh, there's a resemblance there somehow. Unintentional, of course. <clears throat> the guy referenced that on the break I saw them <laughs> all right let me see what we're going to do this time. See if anybody's paying attention. <clears throat> I'm going to put one coupon code out there. Next person that goes over $100, not only are you going to get a spot in the giveaway, not only are you going to get a wheel spin, spend over $100, we're going to go 20% off. Twenty percent off the next person that purchases makes a hundred dollar purchase. There's only one of them. Go over a hundred, you got twenty percent off. Use the code twenty, the number, number twenty. <clears throat> I 
But there it is, national break. Same pack the mixture was in. PSA 9 mixture. So it's all over the place. <clears throat> I, like I said, I believe that cello pack was a PSA 7. And it produced a PSA 5, Ernie Banks. Quite a few 8s and uh, a few 9s. The Mantle 9. So that was good stuff. We're just hanging out, guys. We appreciate y'all watching the videos. It'll be fun when we get that box 88 Fleer. That'll be a fun night, man. 36 packs and one rip. That's what we're talking about. Six spots left in the Mantle giveaway, guys. 68 Mantle. You show them the 55? Yeah. Mint. Full off center. You need to get this. Uh, I can't, I'll, you need to take that up there. Take I got you. I want to take those other Pete Roses too. Go ahead and have them slab those babies up too. This card's nice. Is it worth it? I mean, is it worth it to yeah. get it slabbed? Yeah. Second year? Yeah. Well, I think that's a big one. Yeah. I think it's seven, eight hundred dollars or something. It's a 71 pistol. Where's those other ones? The, uh, the, uh, Pete Roses. I'm not sure. There's a lot of shit in here again. <laughs> it happens quick. Hopefully we get a box of 82 Opeachy too. We can look for some Gretzky's in there too. Yeah, that would be cool because there's nine different, eight or nine different. Uh, I think that's 83, but there's still a few in 82 as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But the ones in 82 are the are big ones when you do get a Gretzky. Oh, answer. wow. This is a $290 nine. And what? A, and a $75 eight. Yeah. That's what and it says for. SP short print. Dude, I'm with that. It's definitely think. worth a grade. I think so. Big card. I'm a big fan of that one. Nice sharp pistol second year. No doubt. <clears throat> um, yeah, I don't know. Where, uh, maybe, I, maybe I took the Pete Roses and put them in there. But, yeah, we need to give them, go ahead and have them slab them up and see what, see what they say. There's no telling. I think the pistol's got a shot, though. Robert <coughs> Robert took advantage. You ready to rip? Yeah, what do we got? Appreciate it, Robert. Right on. Four packs of 81 baseball and a pack of 84 football. Good, good choices. That's right up Ed's alley. Well, 81. And we're giving them... A, I ran a... I ran a... a a flash. Oh shit! I leave for one minute. He's flashing it and giving it away. I ran a flash. <laughs> One-time coupon use. If you went over a hundred, you got twenty percent off. Nice. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, Robert. We can do. Uh, we get a bonus wheel for that too. Yeah, we got a. I said we got a bonus wheel spot or and a uh, a giveaway spot in the bonus wheel spin. Cool. So here we go. We're down to five now, guys. Oh, all right. We're gonna give that away. Maybe we'll maybe we'll get that box and do the giveaway and the box at the same time. That'd be cool. That'd be right on time, wouldn't it? You got eleven spots in the giveaway, Robert, as of right now. Wow, and there's a possibility that somebody could win all three of them. He's trying. He's looking. That's good. happened quite a few times here at Classic Pack Breaks. We've had a. We've had the, the bonus board swept. Let me uh, refresh real quick before we go, just for fun. Okay. Um, 
We appreciate you, Robert. We appreciate everybody. I was kind of hoping Matty B was going to jump on one of those LeBron packs. I want to see what those look like. Those are going to be cool. And our buddy, uh, I just cannot ever get his name right. What was it? Rowan? I think it's better than the 4-2, man. That might be one that you try and bust on out and resubmit. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Here we go. Bonus wheel time. Let's do this. Here we go. It is better than a four, Robert. I got some more uh, in my collection. I'll have to get those out sometime. I like him. That's my guy. He's my guy. Got a baseball sign by him, too, when I was a kid. He, uh, when he retired and got old, he moved to Oconee, Lake Oconee in Georgia. Currently where Matt B is tuned in from at a place called the, uh, I think now it's called Reynolds Plantation, but he, uh, he was a member of the golf course where my mom and dad were members when we moved to Georgia. And he was there one day and he signed a baseball for me and me and a buddy of mine. And I still got it. It's got Al Kaline on it too, which is pretty cool. Um, what do you say? Should auction the 55 Bowman? Yeah, I could. Yeah. I hadn't really thought of it. I mean, I, it's a pretty cool card. I, that one's been in, in my, little, my little collection over there. 84 footballs on the bonus wheel now, too. Oh, yeah. Cool. Let's get two of those, huh? <clears throat> All right, Robert. Here we go. Bonus. Bonus wheel for Robert. Classicpackbreaks.com. We're back. You want to do a local record? 84 dollars again. Oh man. That, you got that good uh, that good one came out of there earlier, huh? You got a, a what was it, Reggie? We're doing uh, it was 84 nine. football and 81 baseball. We hit 84 dollars on the bonus wheel. That's for Robert. Something's still a little bit crooked there. 84 Russ is getting low too. 84 Don Russ. Where's that Don Mattingly been hiding? I'd like to see him. Alright, Robert, good luck, buddy. We appreciate you. As always. I know it's probably cold up there tonight because it's cold here. We're at like 35 to 30 degrees out tonight. But Kev's probably got all of up there in uh, Maine, oh, it's chilly. Dave Kingman, first card coming out. That's exactly right, Matt. Port Armor. That was the name of it when my parents lived there. That's exactly right. And ironically, um, I was in Little League, and my buddy that played on my team, Brad Benton. I don't know if you're familiar and remember his name. But he was my good buddy back in the day, and we went up there that day, and he had thrown a no-hitter in Little League. And on his baseball that he signed for him, he said, good job on the no-hitter, Mickey Mantle. So I just recently, like, looked him up on Facebook to uh, see if he still has it. How dare you, Bangston. I friended him. He said our site's slow. No, don't tell me that. How dare you. Dave Sachs, I think it's your internet. You need to... Ease off of the those sites. <laughs> you need to ease back on those sites you've been looking at. <laughs> Eric Show. Your bandwidth is getting throttled. Yeah. I don't think it's the site. Pat Tabler. How dare you. <laughs> All right, here we go. Come on, let's get him a good one. There we go. Good one coming up, Robert. Here we go. Ryan Downing. Here we go. Ooh, we centered up nice too. Damn. What is it? Look at that one. Ooh, the Rhine? Yeah, man. Second year. Golly, that's a good looking card. For, for the Donruss, the way the Donruss looks, this is mm, a, as close as it gets. Look at this. Look at the top to bottom. 
this might be another one to talk about here look here oh man right yeah that's a nice one bang right there baby look at the back that's got a shot guys look at the border on the back of that one man that's what's up man these 84 donner up oh, roberts is nine Nine's good. Nine and a prayer. Nine and a prayer. Nine and a prayer. Look at him. Bob James. That looks like the guy from No Country for Old Man. I don't know if you guys seen that movie. But that's him. That's the guy that found the money in the truck. He's he's running. Storm Davis. What did you give away tonight? 92 Bowman and... Uh, yeah, 92 and Bowman. Golf. Yeah, and a pack of golf. We hadn't seen that. Just updating no. the site here. Tippy Martinez. Robert, I'm almost at a point with that. That, uh, you know, I almost don't want to have them slabbed. Just don't. Because what if that changes or what if someone else comes along and, you know, well, you know, I'm just kind of torn on that. You can't get the money without them graded. Though. Right, but if you're not trying to get the money for them today, and you just left them all in card savers for another 20 years, and 20 years from now, you're going to be able to take your phone out, you're going to be able to take a picture of this card, and it's going to say, <coughs> nine. And it's going to tell you why, because it's going to be measured. And it's going to know everything and every inch of these cards. You know, it's just technology just continues to get better and better. I mean, and f for that one company to, I mean, maybe that, maybe the plastic, God forbid, maybe the plastic deteriorates or something or, or does something to the card. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. getting philosophical yeah after the 88 uh flare box anything's possible for me no i'm not letting anything go by mm. yeah i mean you got to slap them if you want to sell them that's that's a, that's the short of the long here's the samber mm -hmm. i mean uh, these days but you know i'm just saying you know i'm just i'm just talking you know how it is yeah the same we're just nice. blabbering all right, this is going to be the second pack out of this box. You got them here. Oh, you want to do that first or you want well, to do football? Whatever, whatever you want. Robert, you, you, you tell me, buddy. You want to do baseball first or you want to do uh, football? It's up to you. Um, so this time we'll remember to do the local recording. It's on. Oh, uh, okay. We're on. Right on. So then what are we doing? Um, whatever he wants. Uh... I've been blabbing for a while though, haven't I? Um, unless you own a shop, I did the early '90s baseball. Yeah, I, that I was that was my speed. I was I was all over that. I was all over that early '90s. I still like the '86 Donruss that we opened last night. Those are cool cards to me. I like those. How many? How many we get out of here, Ron? Four. <clears throat> All right, Bubba. You want me to pick? Or you want to pick? Four times. Back left is in play. They are three deep. Four deep up front here. <clears throat> me pick. You pick. I'm going back left as always. And then. Yeah. Have we got a Gibby out of here yet? Out of this one? Uh, I know we got one, but I don't know if it was out of that box or that first sure. box. That's a good question. We need Harold Baines, though, is what we need. We got him. Out of this one or the last one? I don't think out of this one. We got him another day. Out of here? I don't remember. No, I don't think so. Yeah, we did. Let me pull up these no tens here. Here, you do that. Alright. I got you. Alright. 
Alright, Robert, here we go, buddy. There's some these are, this is a cool pack. I like these, man. I like the idea of not not having tens. Look, Robert. Oh look, Sello, I got it. That's funny. <laughs> Hey, Ray, well, that is a good thing, then. I swear. Bob Lacey. This next guy is in every pack that, is, is, that there ever is. Ed Ott. Ed? With the glasses? I mean, I'm telling you, every. Oh, man, alive. Rich Murray, here's a big one coming up, Robert. This is a good start already. Check it, check it out. Nice. Now you're talking. And the cool part about George Brett in this set, believe it or not, is that I think that he's followed by a Hoffer. Another Hoffer. Ten dollar nine from the Georgie. Nice card. Here we go. Hall of Famer, 500 dingers. 490. It's one of mine, man. He's got two of them that look similar. I think the 80 looks like that, too. <laughs> it's another one of those weird ones. looks like a weird print. Eddie Murray. Preston Hanna. Jerry White, these cards look nice though, I'll tell you what. These are nice. Daryl Tom. Rick. Look at, look at Harold Baines 10, it went up again. Oh wow, it sure did. $100 plus and a 9, and a 700 plus and a 10. Yeah, I do too. The hat logo, he looks great. That's awesome. Here we go. The voice of our Atlanta Brave, Mr. Don Sutton, Hall of Fame. Centered up, not bad. That one might be on there too, right? Number seven. Dave Goltz. Uh oh. There's one of them coming up. I know that name. Robert, I'm getting good. I know the name. Check it out. Look this one up. Card number 58. Joel Youngblood. And it's centered up nice. Is it? Yeah, dude. Look. Huh? A little bit of a. It's a print defect on his face a little bit. Maybe a little smudgy here, smudgy yeah. Youngblood's $150.9, no 10. Damn. That's awesome. Seen which one, Robert? Joel Youngblood? That's cool. That's one we're looking for there. That one's got a shot, man. That's better centering, for sure. Yeah, I mean, that's usually one of those weird ones, because it's a corner. He says eight. Oh, here we go. Here's your Yankee star. This is... Yankees future stars. What number's that? 424. Yankee star. Mm -hmm. No? Kind of a weird look. Uh, Jeff Francoeur took his job, Don Sutton. Jeffrey's got a little bit of charisma. 86 Fleer basketball. Oh. Uh, he got some charisma. He does, man. He does. Alright, that wasn't such a bad pack. I mean, good grief. That was just the first pack. So here we go. Joel Youngblood, that's one we're looking for. Hall of Famer Donnie Sutton. Eddie Murray. And Georgie Brett.
86 flare set break. Well, uh, I, I'm for some reason I'm lost. I don't know what happened. We're talking about the logos on the hat, and then we jumped over to 86 flare set break. I like those two. I like that, but it scares me a little bit. Set break scared me a little bit, Robert. Because who made the setup? And, you know, especially when they're graded. Glenn Borgman. You already know what you're getting. I like the, uh, I like them getting them out of the packs like this, man. This is, I, it just doesn't seem any better. Steve Dillard. Really good. I did want to try and get Tiffany's, uh, yeah, uh, it's a smaller set so I can handle. 86 Flair is just a tough one altogether. That's just a tough one. Because there's so many big cards and there's so much. That's like one of the most fake sets on the planet that's ever been made. Ray Knight, 325. See on there? I don't think so. But I've been there. I've been in them. I was a. I was in a set break of 86 flare and I bought multiple 86 flare packs and of all the packs that I've ever bought in my life that's the only one that I ever felt like you know damn if ever there was ever one that somebody wanted to try and mess with it, my point exactly is what happened this week which is craziness home downer Glenn Hubbard but you know don't get me wrong, I want the MJ 86 Flair just like the next guy. Jerry Morales. Think he's on there? I see Rodriguez. Is it Aurelio? There he is. Hmm. Numero? 34. He's OC. But $40, 9, no 10. That's one of the corner ones. There's another no 10 or though. Robert, you're two for two, man. Be right back. Easy Ed's probably looking at this like he was going for these last time. A lot of dust. Aurelio Rodriguez. That goes in the sleeve file. Rick Dempsey. House burned down right down the street. When today? Aurelio Rodriguez is so high because he's a he's a no ten. There's 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 multiple in this set that are. Let me show you. Look on this list here. See all these ones over here to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. So there's ten or twelve or fifteen cards in this set that there's no tens, Jim Mint tens recorded. So that's kind of the chase. That's such a great, great deal. You know, if we could somehow pull one of those out of an eleven dollar pack, you're in business. But Aurelio, if you look at it real close, let's see here. Aurelio is number uh, thirty four, by the way. So he's right here. A lot of those low numbers. But if you look at it. Sorry, I can't see what I'm doing here. If you look at the. Uh, see, he's like a corner or something. Like where the machine cut it. You can see. Like it's always big. Like he's like the top top left corner or something. You know. I, th I, th I think. Willie Montanez. Golly, that, that might be another one. Five five nine. Look right there. That's another one. Two in a row. That one's not a no ten. That's a two hundred dollar ten, but a forty dollar nine. Look here. You might get nine out of that. It's a touch off centered, but damn, that's two in a row. That's what's cool about this set. That's why we like this eighty one because one of these days we're gonna pop one of these out and. 
it's gonna be there I think so that's the one that our buddy Ed easy Ed it's on it was on here earlier I hadn't heard from him in a little while but uh, he likes those as well so does Nate from out in, uh, out in Texas we had a big we went through two boxes actually with those two guys and yeah uh, uh, yeah I think Kev might have been in on that a little bit Kevin was in on a few of them up in uh, Kev up in Maine like Willis Blue Jays and uh, team San Diego <laughs> San Diego Padres but Robert that the uh, that's like one of the only ones well, that's one of the only sets that's that's like that like there's not very many of them here and there in the 1980 I think maybe there's one card but for for the most part that's this is the only one that's like that that has like 10 or 12, 10 or 15 shots at them yeah, and you've already got three or four of them so hopefully Ed's watching he likes those <laughs> I think Ed hops on here every night and gets one pack of them. So, we appreciate him. We appreciate you. This is cool. Doug DeCensus. Larry Boa. I feel like we're going to get a good one here pretty soon. That's somebody we know. Larry Boa. Stan Pappy. As a matter of fact, we've opened so many of these that uh, we've got them. I've, I've, we've got them memorized. That's why I knew that guy right after it. Bruce Suter, that one might be on there. Five ninety. Yeah, he's on there. Hall of Fame. Ten. Uh, Ten dollar nine. Hundred and forty dollar. Ten. But he's OC. Potential nine OC maybe. Hall of Famer. What's up? Ooh, another good one. yep that's right robert this is this truly is like just like a just like a, a lottery ticket boom 11 bucks 341 to me in my opinion you know whatever but it's 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 exciting look here hall of famer willie stargill he'll be on there 380 maybe he played for a long time ten dollar nine Hundred and sixty-five dollar ten, Willie Stargell. When we get done with these four packs, Robert, I'm gonna I'm gonna go through this stack that we got. Show you what we're talking about with these guys. That's why we can't keep them. These are these are cool. Here we go. Lance Parrish. A little bit of a print defect on the side. Here's a cool name. Hal Dews. Uh-oh. Color Man's back. Here we go. Check it out. How about this card? Stolen Bases Leader, 1980. Some guy by the name of Ricky Henderson. What a myth. Second year. Not much. Only a humongous stack of Hall of Famers and almost every No-10 that there is. Wow. Willie Stargells. There's another Hall of Famer. Randy Moffat. Didn't we talk about him today? Ooh. We're not sure if he's a Hoffer, but we think he is. 310. He's not on the, uh, this list, but he played for such a long time. What number is that one? The Scobie one might be the one. I mean, uh, since he's 606. It's um, the Angels. The Angels one. And Pirates. Rick Waits. Ooh wee. Good grief. Ken Kravick. Still one to go. Look at this yeah. shit. Look, look at this one. Number that too. Look at that. $7.9. $95.10. That's a great card, man. That's a cool card. Two offers. Centered up. 
touch off centered, but just cool. Just cool. They were right in there. They were right in there in their heydays. Yeah, it's a sick card right there. Man, 81's on fire right now. Where's Ed and Nate? We need, they need to be watching this. Hmm, <laughs> I saw the strut. I thought it was our guy. Alright, here we go. Vern Rule. Mike Ivy. Bunch of Braves in a row here. Kenny Oberfell. Oberfell was our buddy Jeff's um, AAA manager in Virginia Beach, somewhere he played. And uh, he said Oberfell was smoking cigs in the tunnel on the way into the, on the way in. Pat Zachary. Juan Benitez. What's that one? 306. Does that one sound familiar? No. Really nice, Alan Trammell. 709, check him. He didn't miss a John Ellis, did he? I don't think so. Frank White. Stevie Rogers. Expo. 81 baseball for Robert. We got 84 football coming up next. Juan Eckelberg. That's a solid little stash. 474. 78. Montreal Expos. Here we go. Raleigh Fingers, Quisenberry. Number 8. No, no Raleigh fingers. Ah, he gets a sleeve. This is a good set. It really is. I was just telling Robert that he was asking why Aurelio Rodriguez was good. <laughs> Mark Bombach. If you mean if you get some good clean packs, there's a lot of high value nine or you know good value nines. You guys going to the Notre Dame Georgia football game this year? Uh, is it here or is it, uh, it must be here. in South Bend? All my buddies went went a couple years ago up to South Bend and saw them, and then I went out to uh, Pasadena and saw the Rose Bowl Imagine last year. So if it's here, yeah, I'm there. I'm there, buddy. We got we got some uh, tailgate special. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We're about twenty minutes from there. Yeah, it's here. We're about 20 minutes from the stadium where I, where we where we sit. All right, here we go, Robert. Here's what I'm talking about for four packs. Raleigh Fingers. Reggie Jackson, Mike Schmidt, centered up nicely. Ricky Hendo, stolen bases leader. We're on the floor. Willie Stargell, little OC, but man, this can be. Hall of Fame Bruce Cedar, little OC. There's one of our no tens, Willie Montanez. They're all off to the left, huh? Yeah, this one is. Uh, the Aurelio is bad. Yeah, the. Uh, There's Aurelio. He's. This is a big niner. Boom, Georgie Brett. Great card. Oh, and the Aggies at home this year, right on. Eddie Murray. Donnie Sutton, and even another of the No 10, and they're getting closer, man. Look how close this one is. This one's just all print defect-ish. It's got some schmutz. It's a little schmutzy, but other than that, man, you're getting closer and closer to a tenner. 
A little schmutzy there, a little something going on. But not bad, man. Not bad at all. That's a good. That's a good four packs. I'll tell you. We've had a we've had a lot of packs. A lot of eighty one that I've opened. I get a pretty good grip on it. That's a that's a good that's a good pile. Um. Okay. So now we're up to. Uh, do I need to hit the local? <coughs> no, no. Just keep it rolling. This is all his. Oh, okay. All right, so now we're up to 84. How many we got of these? One. Okay, one. One pack, Robert. You want me to do the honors? Marino, Elway. Hey. Kind of a blowout on the side, but look how, look how fresh this baby is. This baby's had... This baby's been held tight. All right, Robert. I'm going... I'm going back left. I'm going to go... Down a couple pack, four packs down on the back left. I like these. This is only the second pack, right? Right. Walter Payton's a hundred dollar nine. Marino's a hundred dollar nine. Elway's a hundred and fifty dollar nine. There's oh. some twenty good bunch of twenty dollar and thirty dollar nines. This is loaded down with Hall of Famers too, isn't it? <clears throat> I think so. All right, Robert. Good luck, my man. So fresh and so clean, clean. Look, it's even got wax from the one next to it. All right, here we go, my man. out of the gate our man Mike Quick I need a Dickerson don't have it okay. I got you a, uh, I got you a pretty close to it coming up next not Dickerson but a nice running back in his own right here we go Marcus Allen Three different Dickerson cards in this set. We're looking for the straight rookie. That's card number 99 right here. Marcus Allen. Uh, his regular cards got a little something. Steve Brown. Little crooked print. But not bad. We're, we're in the middle of the we're in the middle of the piece of cardboard at least, so that's a good start for the first pack or two. I remember um, Elway was OC a little bit, wasn't he? Yeah. Clay Matthews. He's a Hall of Famer, ain't he? I think so. Card number 56. No? It's the, it's the Matthews clan. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, that one's a little OC. Yeah. Rob Carpenter. A little MC. Yeah, that one's a little bit. TR, TW. Come on now. Train rag. Here we go. Oh, no, we're getting back to right. Here we go. Carl Roaches. Alright, here we go. Next one's a good player. Playing a Falcons. Mr. Jerry Briggs. Oh, he was a good player. 218. No. Here we go. We got scoring leaders coming up here. It could be good. Ooh, got to be a kicker, doesn't it? Gary Anderson, Mark Mosley. These are hit or miss so far. They're bouncing around. Lots of rookies in here. Steve Freeman. 
396 card set. 396. Good bit of rookies, yeah. Checklist. At 84 checklist. It's always one I need. <laughs> Alright. Gotta check them all. Hey, you gotta get them. Alright, here we go. Turned up this way now, guys. Dwight Hicks. So, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. We're doing uh, 84 tops. Looking for the Merino and the Elway, etc. Oh, we're looking for Dickerson's, right? That's right. Ricky Jackson, Pro Bowler, 303. Ricky Jackson, Rookie Hall of Fame. That's right. Twelve dollar nine, two hundred ten. We're not there, but Rookie Hall of Fame. We are there with a Rookie Hall of Fame. That's cool. <coughs> What's up, Mike? Tony Hill and Cowboy. You either love them or you hate them, right? America's team. Benny Ricardo, kicker. And last but not least, Arizona Sun Devils coach. Herm. My man Herm. 327. He's not, I think his only ones are early. I think is when his are. Yeah, he's back in the 70s. Well, Ricky Jackson. Guess that's our best one out of there. Unfortunately, they were all, they were a little bumping around. Though. 84. Ricky Jackson, Herm Edwards, Henry Ricardo, Tony Hill, Dwight Hicks, Steve Freeman. Kicker, Gerald Riggs, Carl Roaches, Rob Carpenter, Clay Matthews, Hall of Famer, Steve Brown, Marcus Allen, uh, and Mike Quick. Ah, mediocre pack, I'd say, wouldn't you? Yeah. You didn't even find them up. Something from the bed. Oh, yeah, there you go. See, Robert? Boom. Oh. Everybody's a winner. Let's see here. You got any Dickerson? Mm. I've seen a Dickerson around here. It's the one with the goggles on it. The 84 Dickerson. Yeah. I'll have to, I'll have to look that one up. Star Wars. I like that card. It's got a little tear paper loss on the back. Oh, really? Oh, dude. Nah. No. There you go, Robert. We'll send this one with it. Nah, man. That baby's packed fresh. Yeah, yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with that one. Boom. 7 7 0 Peachy. 1977 OPG Willie Sarge will come in your way, buddy. We appreciate you, Robert. We appreciate you. Boom. That's how it works. Classic pack breaks. We, uh, you buy them, we rip them. Um, all right, where are we at? Is our rail caught up finally again? I think so. <sighs> all right. A moment of rest. We're good. We made it. So far, so good. Anybody else out there wants to break some more packs? Hop on, man. ClassicPackBreaks.com. Two dollars for rigs. Thanks, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's got to take a robber about that. We're not in charge of that. What are we going to do? 
in the summertime. We're going to have to get a ceiling fan up in here. Yeah, it's hot. <laughs> we got to have a fan for sure. <laughs> Computers and lights and, and live studio audience. Oh, do I need to turn this the, the local off a little? Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, guys. That's how you do that. Boom. And he just recorded that just for you, Robert. We'll, uh, we can label that one just in case you want to reference it. Hey, you probably won't, actually, because you're here, but it's all good. <laughs> It'll be there. Somebody else, is, somebody else, will, you might want to with that 80, with those 81s, because those are pretty cool, man. They're, you, you got a lot of the good ones out of four packs. You got like four of them that you're looking for. So those are kind of cool. All right. But well, yeah. Great time. We're here. You want to? Yeah, we'll be around for a little bit. We'll be around till 1130 or midnight. 1030 now. So we got, <coughs> we got some time, guys. We're here. Go get a glass of water and turn the heat down. ClassicPackBreaks.com, guys. We're glad everybody's tuning in tonight. We appreciate everybody, as always. Appreciate it, Robert, Ed, Nate, Chris. Matt, Lake Oconee. He's hanging. That's our guy. we got plenty of great stuff here, guys, which we're not done. We don't have to be done. We don't have to be done. We'll see you guys in a bit. Appreciate it.
Appreciate everybody watching and hanging out. ClassicPackBreaks.com. We're going to shut it down for the night. Be available till about 11.30 or midnight tonight still. Hop on the website. Make a purchase. Use the code 20 if you go over $100. Tonight only, guys.